Hello and welcome to the Maya Tobel. This is Michael. In this video, I wanted to go to the Edit Mesh menu. We've been recently uh, focusing on the Mesh menu, but now I want to go back to the Edit Mesh menu a little bit. And I want to look at Collapse. So Collapse is a relatively simple command here in the Edit Mesh menu. You'll notice it doesn't have any options. So it's strictly a Collapse command with no real settings to it. And if you look in the help line in the bottom left, it says removes selected components by merging their adjacent vertices. Now this collapse command is useful. I use it a lot. But another one that kind of goes with it, in my opinion anyway, is merge to center. And the help tool there says merge selected components to their center point. So just collapse and merge to center. And both of these are very similar and how they're used, and I use them both quite often. You'll notice here, Merge to Center also does not have really any settings to speak of. If I double click it, no tools, no tools pop up. So it's just simply a very simple way of editing and changing geometry. So we're just a really quick way of demonstrating. I'm just going to create a cylinder here. Okay. And I'll go ahead and give it some divisions, subdivisions height. Let's have a few divisions here, like so. Okay, so first of all, I can select an edge, like this one, for example. And I can go to Edit Mesh and Collapse. And so it takes that edge that was there, I'm undoing and redoing, and collapses it down to a point. See that? So it's taking that and just collapsing it down to a single vertex. I can go to this face, do the same thing, or this face. So edit mesh, collapse. Again, undo and redo, you can see how it takes that and collapses it down to a single point. Now one thing I want to notice with this though, it doesn't collapse it to like a center point like here. It kind of goes up a little bit to the left. I can say for example, I'm actually going to take the subdivisions caps down. So now I have this big face here. Let's say we do this one, edit mesh, collapse. And you can really see how it kind of goes all the way over here to this point way over here to the side. It doesn't necessarily collapse to the center, which is why I wanted to bring up also edit mesh, merge to center. And this one does essentially the same thing, except it does go to a center point, which I find sometimes I need that. I want that to go to the center point. I don't want it to just be a random, you know, point that's merging down to. If I'm collapsing just an edge or something like this, sure, edit mesh and, not merge, sorry, edit mesh collapse. Edit mesh collapse, there it is. Then yeah, that works fine. And if I do this edit mesh merge to center, it kind of does the same thing. So there's not a lot of difference here in this particular case. But when it comes to large faces like this, I do notice a big difference. Edit mesh collapse way over there, not what I want. Edit mesh, merge to center. Okay, there we go, that is what I want. So keep that in mind when using these. I do use, I use collapse a lot, like if I wanna select like a row of edges, I can say edit mesh, collapse, and it classes them all down. So I can remove like an entire row of edges like this. So very handy for removing edge loops in that sense. Um, you could of course also just select edge loop and control delete to remove an edge loop like so as well. Just sometimes you might want to collapse it. So grab, grabbing a row of edges like this, edit mesh and collapse. Kind of pushes them all to the center. Now if I use the same thing with merge to center, edit mesh, see that does something different. That's not what I want, right? So there's there's two different you know use, use cases here, whether it's collapse or merge to center as to which one you actually are wanting to happen. Merge to center usually is, in my case, like I want, I want one single face like this to merge down to a point, and I want it to be a center point, I'll use it then. If I want a whole row of things, like multiple things to merge together, like in this case with the edge row, I'll use collapse. You know, I won't necessarily use merge to center when I have lots of different things all selected at the same time, because then they all kind of merge to one point, right? So that's really quickly, a really quick video today, just because it's relatively simple. Um, yeah, under Edit Mesh, Collapse, as well as Merge to Center. Both of these kind of go hand in hand. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, when I'm recording this and putting on on YouTube, I've started a new uh, series on my channel called Maya 101. 
and it's simply I used to teach classes like I say in the introduction there and I'm kind of thinking like hey here's a here's a class <laughs> for like basic beginners from Maya never used Maya before start here kind of thing and we're gonna go through it so hope you enjoy that uh, it's on my channel currently part one is uh, you'll find more parts coming out soon as of this recording and again I'll continue making these videos as well if you have any questions feel free to comment below uh, happy to, be, to hear if you have any uh, stories on your use cases for Collapse or Emergency Center, or if I missed something, maybe I, I didn't quite catch something that might be useful, please post it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. All right, thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you later.